Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. So I know you ain't doing shit, so do me a favor and please subscribe to my favorite supporters and show them love. And I feel like they're worth a shout out, I feel like they do have enough energy, and I feel like y'all would like their videos as well. So be sure to click the link down in the description down below, and please watch their videos, thank you so much. What's good everybody, it's Destiny Choice, you're watching Choice TV. So it's the same day, I ain't feel like taking a shower, so all I did was just change my outfit, and I'm filming this video the same day I filmed my last video, with my... Waffles that are soggy as fuck and it absolutely was not worth fucking $12. But yeah, long story short, many of y'all have sent me this story about John Tavian. Oh, I'm sorry, fuck. What's his name again? Brandon. Oh, yeah, Brandon from John Tavian and Brandon. It's not kind of sad how we refer to him as Brandon from John Tavian and Brandon. Long story short, he's being accused of scamming because one of his friends stepped forward and had a lot to say about him. I used to be his friend. And hairstylist. He slowly moved himself in. Yeah. <laughs> to do his hair a few times. I let him and his boyfriend come in. He asked, he messaged me on Instagram and said, um, could him and his boyfriend sleep here because they don't have anywhere to sleep. Mm -hmm. Because they, it's no problem. You have to stay here. You know, I, get on your feet. Three weeks, two. The thing is, scam. Bitcoin. Uh huh. Um, the little machines, the little credit card things. That's all, all they do is scam. I would leave my weed around them and be smoking, and like, I would notice. Little by little, all my weed is gone. Like, they're gonna try to flip some money for you, basically. Basically, okay. They see my checkbooks and they seen that I had a square account, also. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know what? How do I look trying to beat their ass for scamming me for a check that I knew wasn't good anyway? Mm -hmm. Like, huh? Mm -hmm. I said, I'm ready for y'all to leave. Um, they had my laptop the whole day. Like, when they left, now they left for my laptop. Mm -hmm. And so that's when I was like, oh, these niggas left. And I was like, okay, I'm them up, there ain't no bad terms, you know, what is, let me just message them, I said, you left my, I left my laptop and you left your blow dryer, I need my laptop, mm -hmm. it's like, okay, we'll do, we'll bring laptop in the morning, I know they're scammers, but I didn't think they was like, gonna uh -oh. really try to fuck uh -oh. up me, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I'm sitting here on my Shut phone, up. mind you, they have my laptop and all my things, mm -hmm. All my emails are logged into my iPhone also. Mm -hmm. I'm getting emails, such and such request to change password. Oh? This, this is such to create request to change email request. <gasps> one, and I filed a police report. Mm -hmm. and think they, they really think they're going to get away with it. And he really posted it like it was his. Like. Two pairs of my Yeezys was gone. Mm -hmm. My black Balenciagas is gone. Mm. Um, I feel like two of my two. I can't. Two of my Gucci shirts gone. Stuff like just gone. This, yeah, that you pay for with your own money. Work hard for. Gone. It. Yeah. Nowhere to be found. On a client run, mm -hmm. and I left, and I can't decipher exactly what it is that they're putting in their trunks, but I don't know. Why they need to put all that stuff coming in from out of my house to in their house? When you came here, and that's, mm -hmm. I just want people to know their character mm -hmm. because you know they're portraying this lifestyle online that that's not the truth. <sighs> Brandon, 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 Brandon got scams. Honestly, I saw this shit coming. Miami's home of the motherfucking scammers, and I'm just trying to figure out why in the hell this nigga Kings was so nice enough to allow Brandon to leave the house with his MacBook, sleep on his couch without paying bills, lie around all day being a stay-at-home ass nigga, not doing nothing. I'm trying to figure out why in the hell he allowed Brandon to constantly do this. I feel like he mixed business with pleasure and figured, okay, cool, you know what, this is a client, I do his hair, I cut his hair, I'm gonna be nice and let him stay here because he ain't got nowhere to stay. Brandon is far from innocent. He's far from innocent. But I believe people are innocent until proven guilty and this guy did not have enough stable receipts. I feel like, yes, he had video footage in the background showing us, oh yeah, Brandon walking from point A to point B, but Show us the police reports, because he also mentioned how when Brandon took his MacBook, he got a notification that said, you try to change your email at this time and this time. And he said he screenshotted everything, but please show us the receipts. He claims he has a police report and he's handling this behind the scenes, but I feel like you wanted to come on social media and to speak on Brandon's character, but I see it like this. 
Those are some serious allegations. And if you're going to make allegations like that, the least you could do is show every bit of proof you have. Show the screenshot and emails of him trying to hack your email. Show the, the false checks that he was trying to finesse you with. Show the fact that he was living in your apartment. He proved that Brandon was outside of his house. He proved he had video footage of Brandon and his bitch, Eddie, you know, coming in and out of his house. If you're going to make allegations like that, show the whole thing. I feel like if you're going to come on social media, come on a bigger platform like Zoe's channel to address everything, come full equipped. Brandon is a hoe. He's a hoe. He's been exposed numerous times. His friends have came forward and exposed him for being a hoe. He was a hoe. I heard he slept with everybody's man. I heard that he got fucked on top of cars. I heard he sucked dick for money. Oh my God, I'm so messy. It's crazy. Side bitches have came forth and exposed him for being a hoe. Clothes start coming off and then I'm like kissing all on him. Then I eat his booty. Brandon is a hoe. It, it's, it's pretty obvious. He's a hoe. But the, 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 the one thing that I feel like is a very serious thing to point out is the fact that he's a scammer. I feel like if there's no stable proof that he's a scammer, I don't know what to believe. So. I gave Brandon a chance to say his side, and I saw Brandon's Instagram video, and this is what he said. And you have cameras outside, correct? Correct. If you rewind the cameras a little bit more, you will see me kind of taking my stuff out of my own car, organizing and putting it back in. So yeah, King, can you uh please like release all the videos, like so like they can see the whole footage? But you did say I stole your Balenciagas, though. Everybody, take a moment and go on King's page. Go ahead, go right now. And we're back. As you can see, there's nothing designer on King's page. Well, onto this watch situation, you said I stole your Rolex from you. All right, so one more time, guys. Go on King's page and tell me, you tell me, if you see anything that has anything to do with Rolex on his wrist. Does Brandon want the watch still? Exactly. You want to get technical with it, to be exact? This man left the computer in the car when we took him to get groceries for his house. Oh yeah, we bought him. He didn't. He didn't put in on nothing. Hello, is Miss Rebecca? Is Miss Rebecca there? Um, no, she's not here today. She ain't here what the hell what is this bitch are you dumb as fuck he trying to say oh i called your previous manager and they had a lot to say about you he tried to call king's manager to, to to see if his manager would vouch for him his manager ain't fucking pick up so what was no point of you pointing that out in the video he also mentioned how king's has no type of designer on his instagram king's has no type of designer on his twitter none of that not everybody flex and flaunts their shit on the gram. I don't really understand what you're trying to say, what you're trying to accomplish just from doing this. At the end of the day, I see it like this. This guy should have showed more proof than just video footage of Brandon moving around in front of his house. He should have showed screenshot and emails. He claims he has a police report, so we just gotta go, we just, we just gotta go from there. You got a police report, hopefully this, hand, this gets handled in the dark. I feel like he should have waited for this case to get beat. You're trying to build the case against Brandon, but you're coming on social media trying to tell everybody, oh, he's a scammer, oh, he's this, oh, he does credit card fraud, oh, he, oh, he gives away false checks, oh, um, he got arrested recently and he couldn't pay his rent, which is why he did to me. You're making allegations like this and you can't even prove what you're saying, so I don't know if I should believe it, but then again, Brandon can't even defend his case, so how the fuck am I supposed to believe Brandon? Brandon can't even defend the fact that he's not a scammer. Brandon's over here like, oh, you don't show your, your, your designer on social media. Bitch, that don't mean shit. What? What the fuck is this? Case dismissed. I feel like this case just doesn't, it doesn't hold steady because Brandon didn't have enough receipts to defend himself. This guy Kings made a lot of serious allegations but didn't back up every single thing he said. So I'm not gonna jump on the bandwagon and believe that Brandon is 100% is, is a, a scammer. No one deserves to be scammed. At the end of the day, if Brandon, if you if you stole this nigga Val Balenciaga's or Valenciaga, however the fuck you say that shit, I can't afford none of that shit. Just get your shit at Walmart and pay less. But I see it like this. If Brandon was an actual scammer and Brandon actually stole his shit, and Brandon actually succeeded, took his MacBook and all this stuff, why isn't Brandon in jail? Why isn't Brandon in jail? Why is he still standing? Why is he still flexing on the ground? Why is he still releasing trash ass music? Why is he still on live looking like a stay at home ass nigga? Why is he still on live stream doing nothing? Why the fuck is he still flexing on the ground? If he, like King says, is a fraud, is a scammer, why in the hell isn't Brandon in jail? Please let me know right now. Cause, wouldn't a scammer that you have proof, screenshots, messages, video footage against be in jail? Why would he, why isn't he in jail? Why is he still walking around? 
So I don't know if I should believe Kings, and I don't know if Kings has a stable case, because you're coming on a platform. This tells me, obviously, you're looking for more credibility, looking for more clout, which there's nothing wrong with that. But to blatantly defile Brandon's character, not coming for you, Kings, but to blatantly defile Brandon's character, and you can't even show all the receipts, just tells me, okay, cool. Brandon probably stole from you, but maybe you're adding things to the story because you're not proving everything you're saying. Why is Brandon still standing still? If he apparently robbed your house like he said you did, why did you just file a police report? Don't stop. Don't stop. I'm her. She had up too real. You're not. No frost allowed. Better back up when I roll out. I make all the big boys fall out. I slay for the guys, that's no doubt. Now what you gonna do with Why didn't you get a lawyer? Why didn't you take his ass to court? I don't know. This is kind of fishy. I'm giving the situation a side eye because I don't know how to feel about this. I see like this. If you're gonna make allegations like that, back up everything you say. Maybe, maybe Kings was a nigga that Brandon used to fuck or a nigga that Brandon used to be friends with, but Brandon did some fuck shit and he said, you know what? I'm gonna defile your character because I know how to. But there are a lot of people out here who do not like Brandon, but I don't know what to believe. I'm, I'm iffy on the situation. It doesn't make any sense. You have a police report, you're filing a case, and you have everything you have to take Brandon down, but why hasn't Brandon been taken down yet? So maybe he doesn't want to show us for the purpose of it needing to be private so he can pursue these charges, but why come into the light? Why come on a platform like Messy Monday to address it if you're working on it and you know you have everything you can to take Brandon down? So at this point, you want to ruin his character so that everybody knows and everybody's woke not to work with him, which is fine that you want to make sure everybody's woke so they don't work with him, but if you got everything handled, why not get, why not beat the case, take Brandon down, and then come forth? Brandon is dumb as fuck. He had an opportunity to clear his case, but he couldn't even do it. Obviously, Brandon is dumb as hell. Honestly, if Brandon really did all this shit, you're going to hell in a handbasket. I hope you know that. That was that for this video. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. Do you believe Kings? Do you believe Brandon? I question Brandon's credibility, but I also question King's credibility. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. We start to weaken. We become dependent. Hitting licks on every weekend. I wonder, do you ever get tired of this? Cause fast money ain't forever, but no money ain't no better